it's me i'm back again with another card from the kit um i love this one I really do um another tenfold i have tried to i know i've not completely stuck to it but i was asked if i couldn't keep changing the orientation of cards so i've taken that on board and very much tried where i can to stick to one. Oh, forgive me so you should have one of these in your kit this is um it's been die cut using the frame florid styles that's why it's got lots of lovely hearts out of it and then it's been embossed with the 3d is it painted texture um embossing folder i love it um and that's white on white so i'm loving that um i've got a scrap of card from earlier for my sentiment but there's you'll have plenty in your kits um so what we need to do first is cut a card base you're not going to be shocked when i say it goes in the trimmer and we cut it portrait at ten and a half centimeters but after the last one what i will say is make sure that it's straight that whilst we're here and then we need also a piece of this for the inside so 14.4 So need a piece of fresh freesia. That is, I think it's 10. I'm going to start with 10. If it's smaller, it's easier for me to rectify. There we go, because this will go behind here. So I'm assuming I will need, to, it'll probably be best if I take a little bit of just take off half a millimetre each way. Because then I know there's no chance of it poking out at any given point. There we go. That's the inner one, isn't it? So, this goes directly onto here. Okay. And I just used a bit of wet glue. There we go. Oh, make sure you're not sticking out of it though. Or completely off it like that one was then. Lovely. And then that can go on the front of your card on some pads. Um, if you've got the edging available, I love to use that. Just makes life a little bit easier instead of trying to take the covers off of loads of um little pieces say it's too long so we'll use that bit but in mind we need to make sure it's not going anywhere does anybody else i've got a bin right next to me and i am but it's on my left hand side so i seem to make a pile of like dimensional backs on the right hand side because i can i suppose 
So this is now going to go on the front of your card. There we go. So that will go on now. What we then need is, how wide is this strip? One and a half? It's about 1.7. I've got a feeling I stamped it and then trimmed it, which is why it's a weird and wonderful. So the sentiment I've used is so lucky to call you friend. No, it's not. That was the last one. I didn't change my stamps. Naughty Claire. Forgive me. Um, I used just a little reminder that you're loved. I just didn't change my stamp over. Which is always helpful, hey? Never mind. I think I've probably got the order of my cards out of whack a little bit, which is why I've got the wrong stamps, because the next one will use that. But never mind. Ho hum. Right, so, just a little reminder that you are loved. And I am going to stamp it in the middle of this scrap. Oh, I suppose I should angle it where I think it's going to be the middle. And then we need to trim it. So we need to trim it down to 10.5 centimetres. But I need to make sure that it's about equal straight so let's start there and then that will probably be okay that'll do because we're gonna have some flowers on it anyway and then we'll cut this down a little bit So I'm going to go two centimetres just because I think it's an easier measurement for everybody to be able to get on there. Oh, excuse me. Now I've got the hiccups. And then this just went down on a couple of pads on the card. only really need another small one and another leaf so if the other one doesn't yeah it's not gonna feel got mm, there that will work we can go with that so we had the smaller ones were pink The larger one, rather. You'll see that I'm not fully colouring it because I am going to go in with the blender pen so it'll just tie things together. Pull it all in nicely. Um, it makes minimal effort for me, ultimately. I think I'm 
and that will be a little bit purple left on there. Right, so then it's a case of getting these fussy cut out. Coloured in the wrong purple one, never mind. Because what we'll do is I'll show you a hack. We can, even though it's just gone off the edge slightly, we'll use that and overlap with one of the other flowers. Oh, nearly chopped the petals off. That's not working so well, can it? Sorry, I just realised I've gone silent again. I really can't multitask. <laughs> Struggling muchly with that today. It's the Monday blues. Roll on Friday, mind you, I say roll on Friday and then I'll be going home the nose. Everything's going far too quickly at the moment. I promise. Just a flowerish left. And again, if you've got the dies, by all means, use the dies. It is a lot easier for a reason. Um, I probably should have die cut them and then could have used them already done. That would have been the sensible idea, I think, for next time. Who knows, hey? Don't think we're ever going to appease everybody. As much as that would be nice. Okay. Oops, nearly. Was the purple one that's okay so you'll see that i stamped slightly off the page here so what i'm gonna do is put my dollop of glue on there and have this one going that way knowing that i'm gonna have a pinky one down here well not both of them though cut and we can cover it up just like that i'm gonna cut a pad I 
now it's stuck to my finger but we can use that oh there we go just like that and then have this little leaf this little leaf of mine poking out of the top there and then we'll have Pinky one, oh, that's a bit more glue than that though. Pinky one down here with another sprig going the other way because I like to change them up. There we go, and then got some more flutterbys. I am certainly going to miss these when they go because I think I've used so many pack. I think they may be my most used packet of gems ever. Had several packets. There we go. And then just to put the mat on the inside. We are on the home stretch. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So there you go, there's your two cards.